Hey traders, this is Scott Barkley. Hey, I just finished a great new video. As you know, I put uh, short little videos up there to help you on your journey. And uh, this one's especially great. Uh, but my goal is to turn your pains into gains. After all, I wrote the book, The Import and the Empowered Forex Trader, Turning Pains into Gains. So I'm going to get out of here and we'll get right into the video. Hey traders, this video is on why Forex and crypto traders become struggling traders and how to fix it. So I'm Scott Barkley, co-founder of Proact Traders and a trader and a trainer for over two decades. Also, I'm the author of the book, The Empowered Forex Trader, Strategies to Transform Pains into Gains. It's available on Amazon. Now, for the last 20 plus years, I've specialized in taking the complex part of trading and making it simple. And that's why I wrote the book, to help traders get it. I found significant ways to teach the banker's methodology, which is price action, by the way, and making it easy to understand. But simplicity in a complex environment only works if the trader commits to the process, does the work to gain understanding, and follows a blueprint for success. So why do traders struggle to trade? Let's look at them. Complexity. Trading involves understanding intricate financial concepts, market dynamics, and various strategies. Navigating this initial complexity can be challenging, especially for beginners. Psychological factors. Trading can be emotionally demanding. Fear, greed, and impatience can all influence decision-making, leading to poor trading outcomes. Managing emotions and maintaining discipline are crucial skills that take time to develop. We are pre-wired for flight or fight in any hostile environment, and trading is a hostile environment. Risk management. Many traders fail because they don't effectively manage risk. They may over-leverage their positions or neglect to use stop-loss orders, leaving them vulnerable to significant losses. Most traders have few rules, if any. Rules keep you from you. Market volatility. Markets are inherently volatile, making it difficult to predict price movements accurately. Even seasoned traders can struggle during periods of heightened volatility or unexpected events. Lack of education. Most traders enter the market without sufficient knowledge or education. They may rely on tips from a forum, other traders, or follow so-called gurus without understanding the underlying principles of trading. Still, others rely on indicators to point the way, a recipe for disaster. Overtrading. A common mistake among new traders is overtrading or trading too frequently. This can lead to excessive transaction costs and dilute the effectiveness of trading strategies. Lack of patience. Successful trading requires patience, and the ability to wait for high probability setups. Many traders struggle with impatience, jumping into trades prematurely, or exiting too soon. Adapting to changing conditions. Markets are dynamic, and what works in one market condition may not work in another. Traders need to adapt their strategies to changing market conditions, which can be challenging for some. Most traders have little knowledge of market structure because it can't be learned in three weeks. Overall, a successful trading requires a combination of knowledge, skill, discipline, and emotional control. It's a journey that often involves both success and setbacks. But with dedication and continuous learning, traders can improve their chances of success over time. So let's tackle each one of these separately. The Forex crypto world is not complicated, but it is complex. We like to call it complexicated. Traders generally fall into trading and as human nature goes, look for the shortcuts. But like learning to drive a car, especially a manual transmission, when you first learned to drive, it was daunting. But with practice doing the same thing over again, you now think nothing of driving. It is still complex, but all the pieces have been mastered. More importantly, the understanding of why you do each piece is understood. And in fact, you know instantaneously if you messed some part up. Oh man, I just ran that stop sign. 
<laughs> How do we solve the complexity? You break each piece down as a separate function. Practice that methodically, one piece at a time. And this is how you learn the why of what you're doing. Scientists tell us that your brain needs 300 images of any piece of the market in a separate folder in your brain, which you can access at will. There's a link there to it, and you can go look it up. So what do I do? Well, I don't see ABC uh, retracements, okay? So what should I do? You go spend a day doing 300 ABC retracements. So we need to understand this before we move on. Okay, your right brain has emotion, intuition, spirituality, interpersonal skills, art and music, belief, and big picture. It's where we live in day in and day out, all right? So emotion has no place in the fork. Oh no, man, it's going against me. The broker's gonna stop me out. That's emotion. I think it's going up, man. I think it's going down. That's belief. The correct uh, answer is the chart says we're going up. The chart says we're going down. Now, the left brain is the trader, all right? It has logic. It, under, it does the analysis. It is organized. It has administration. It can handle the math and the science. It deals with knowledge and facts and detail. The left brain is the trader, but it knows nothing about trading unless you teach it how to trade. That's the purpose of doing 300 of everything. Psychological factors, fear, greed, and impatience can all influence decision-making leading to poor trading outcomes. Managing emotions and maintaining discipline are crucial skills that take time to develop. We are pre-wired for fight or flight in any hostile environment, and trading is a hostile environment. And those things that you had, I just read, fear, greed, impatience, they are emotional responses. So you know they're on the right brain. So since we have seen we are on the right side of the brain, almost always when trading, fear, greed, fear of missing out, impatience are all emotional responses to the market. And the only way to overcome this inherent trait is to force the left brain to be in charge, which is why we must know the why something is important today in trading. Each chart could have totally different aspects to it, and therefore your one-size-fits-all checklist doesn't work. Understanding the why of what you're doing and why on this chart these three things are important, but on another they don't mean much at all. Understanding why you're looking at a piece of information leads to confidence, and confidence trumps psychology. Risk management. Many traders fail because they don't effectively manage risk. This is where having rules really helps you. Rules keep you from you. Margin management requires strict rules. Never risk more than 2% of your account so that you always have 98% of your money intact. Never buy at the top or sell at the bottom. Know the rules of your trade setup. Always press your winners without exception. It's the key to being successful in the Forex, crypto, stocks, whatever market you're trading in. Never overtrade. You are looking for one to two real opportunities per session. Occasionally, there are three. Traders think to be a trader, I need to put on a trade. False. You are looking to find the opportunities with the most return on investment for the least amount of risk. Overtrading kills your account and the broker will eat up your account with the spread. Market volatility. Volatility gets a bad rap. Volatility is great if managed. Again, understanding the why of the market will allow you to steer through the so-called rough seas of trading. The more volatility, the stronger the reason to adhere to the why. Why are they going up? Why are they going to that target? Why did they print that pattern in the chart? These all have a reason because the market uses tried and true methodology day in, day out. Volatility just means we're going to do it faster today. In the Forex, bankers, the big boys, manipulate the market with a firm agenda in place. They telegraph that agenda in the charts, and all traders who are educated on these clues will know with a high degree of certainty what that agenda is. 
lack of education. Retail traders in both Forex and cryptos barely scratch the surface of education while learning to trade. The abundance of free learning websites makes it easy to jump on this train. Real quality education is never free. Try going to an Ivy League school free. You can't do it. Due to this baby food approach to education, traders binge some videos, download an ebook, visit a forum, and a few days they got it. What they got was a one way street to a dead end. Trading is one of the highest paid professions in the world and requires no degree, doesn't care what your skin color is or where you live in the world. And it rewards the traders who know the why and it burns all the rest and 90% of retail traders fail. Lack of patience. Successful trading requires patience and the ability to wait for high probability setups. 99% of the time you will spend waiting, which is why you can use that time to methodically work on a weakness. I'm going to work on ABCs today. The market needs participants to move the agenda and the lack of participants leads to impatience in traders or worse, the market takes off and FOMO, fear of missing out, kicks in and they break their strict rules and they jump in. If either of these are happening, remember that is an emotional response to the market. You're trading from the right side of the market. The left brain knows to stay on the sidelines, but the brain, right brain needs its endorphin high from risking money. Adapting to changing conditions in the Forex crypto markets, it is all about continuation. The market will continue until it's time to reverse. The information being printed in the charts is the roadmap on how they are accomplishing this. And this is why out of the 14 chart patterns we see in these two markets, only four of them are reversals, head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, a rising wedge and falling wedge. Yes, you got double and triple tops and bottoms. So they're not patterns. How they get there is the why of the market. Anyone can learn to put a channel on, a fib on, a range on, but only understanding the why of the market will a trader conquer it. The Forex crypto markets use price action, never indicators. The problem with retail traders is they want it now. So they gravitate to indicators never used by the big boys and cannot understand why they cannot be successful. Indicators, with the exception of a MACD, only tell you what the market has done. It never tells you what it's going to do. So to sum it up, the retail trader must learn price action and not a reliance on indicators. They must break each piece of the market down and do it methodically 300 times, scientists tell us. The complexity of the market is why it will take time, not its complications. Let me say that again. The complexity of the market is why it will take time, not its complications. To do the 14 chart patterns will take 28 days by itself because you have to do 300 of the patterns and then you have to take 24 hours off and do not, and not do any patterns. So that takes two days or 48 hours. 14 patterns is 28 days. Where's the shortcut, man? It's doing the methodical work, which teaches the trader the statistical probability of what that is, how it is used, and how to put that piece of information into a viable trading plan for today. It teaches the trader how to spot the clues in the market. So let's do a practical start. Start by really learning the rectangle pattern. Do it 300 times. If you need a place to go to see it, go to chartpatterns.com. It's got all the patterns, a very simple old, old site, but it's a very simple site to navigate. Next, learn pullbacks 300 times. All right? Know the statistical probability of each to its fulfillment, because that's going to lead to confidence. All right? You can now earn while you learn. So here's an example. Rectangles, do they happen? all the time. All right? The trade is the continuation of the rectangle. The reason a rectangle is there is it's trying to continue in this example, the downtrend. Pullbacks, they happen all the time. They equal continuation. They run out of sellers going to the downside because we have a channel to the downside. And so they pull back up 
because professional sellers won't sell at the bottom. So they always pull back to find those sellers to continue the move to the downside. Learn those two patterns and you can become world class in these few things in just 100 hours if you will do the work and forego trading until you get it. So we have trained bank traders, hedge fund traders, prop traders, and full-time professional traders. Most of our traders are just trying to supplement or replace their income in the fastest way possible. Our teaching programs and over 200 videos are designed to do just that. And of course, you can download my book on Amazon. We have proven methodology and we have award-winning software. We also have a great community of traders. Some have been with me since 2005. So we'd love to have you watch us do this in real time in a live room. Just go to ProactTraders.com, sign up for a 10 day test drive, and you can see traders making hundreds, if not more pips doing what this video is all about. By the way, it's free. So don't forget to like us and subscribe us and share this video. If you subscribe, you will be notified when I put my next teaching video up. Have a great day, everybody. Hope this helped you.